Now, how do you talk yourself out of that? Oh no, that was something else. We were uh, we were just testing it out. No, okay, okay. <laughs> you, you can continue to lie if you want to, um, but we got you red-handed on that. Um, what else is going on? I did talk about the uh, great uh, betrayal. So this week begins the great betrayal. Somebody's gonna betray betray the uh, the deep state. Somebody is somebody right now is, 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 is God is eating at their heart to tell to come out and tell the truth. So I know he I know um Louis Vogel Sharp has said that Joe Biden that God is um Joe Biden is being convicted uh about his cheating. Um but I don't know if he's gonna be able to do that. Ah who who knows that would be a big shocker if Joe Biden came out and said, hey man, we cheated man. Let me get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> like um but it could be somebody else it could be joe biden's wife it could be um it could be a governor you know not not the georgia governor but a, somebody else could be a different governor it could be a a somebody in the high ups could be hillary clinton say yeah we cheated right hillary can just submit it yeah we cheated you know what i mean um i don't know or it could be somebody else i, I don't know but a great betrayal it's coming, right? And, you know, that was a prophetic word of Hank Kuhneman. Um, and then also a great surprise is coming as well. Okay. Um, and and uh, Anna Marie, uh, Pro Pro uh, Prophetess Anna Marie, talked about that this week, about the great surprise as well. So, and um, also there's a great military surprise coming as well. Okay. Now, I've talked about, I didn't even know, you know, she, she did that prophetic word this week, right? Uh, for those that follow Anna Marie, uh, Prophet is Anna Marie, but I talked about that because I made a I made a post about um, I made a post about Iran. I mean, not Iran, but uh, Iraq uh, on Twitter. If you guys remember, and how that um, let me actually see if I can. No, I don't think I don't think I can find it. Let me actually go to my page and see if I can find it. They probably de they deleted it. Um, as they do everything. They block a lot of my stuff as well. Uh, let's see here. Do I remember that? Oh yeah, this is that lady. There's so many. This there's so many fraudsters out here. It's unbelievable. Um, where is that post I did about the um, about Iraq? Because remember, Iraq and I and America copy each other. They just do different things. <clears throat> let me see. That was December four. I thought I I thought I did a um. Let me see. Uh. Some liberals. Okay. Let me see if I can find that post. No, I don't see it on here. I think they they probably blocked it. Mm. Let's see. Rhinos, no breaking, no, I don't care about that. Um, nope. I want to find that post. I want to find that post. Uh, I want to find that post. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't see that post. Oh, there it is. But I, I also retweet. I um. Jeez, right here. I did. I also retweeted it as well, but I can't find the retweet part of it. Anyways, so I I, po I posted here on December second, when USA leaves Iraq embassy. Because remember, half of you guys are following Iraq. Half of the embassy, half of our embassy in, in, in Iraq, the U.S. embassy, has been va vacated. So all we got to do, all Donald Trump has to do is remove the other half, right? So when he removes the, when, if he removes the other half uh, out of the embassy, zero hour of H-E-L-L -L will be unleashed to all who stand in our way. God bless our troops and God bless America. Remember, America and Iraq copy each other. 
They just do things differently for different assignments, but they, they're copying each other over these last see, like four or five years, literally copying each other. They're, they might be doing the, the complete different, but it's still, this, like, like, let me give you an example. Donald Trump started putting the walls up in America. Iraq started taking the walls down in Iraq and the concrete barriers down. So it's the same thing, but it's just complete different uh, opposite um, scenario, right? Or agenda, but it's literally the same thing. It's still concrete walls, right? And so I believe that when I merit, when, when, I, when, the, when the troops are ready to storm and raid Iraq, we're gonna see a military surprise here in America as well. And um, uh, Anna, Marie, uh, Anna Marie, Prophetess Anna Marie talked about that this week, or last week, uh, and the Lord showed her that the military was getting ready for something massive coming, okay? They were getting ready for something massive, all right? So it's a surprise. It's a military surprise. So as you can see, December 2nd, I, I put this on here, and I said that we're about to go in. Um, once we remove, once the last part of that embassy is removed, we're gonna go in and in, into Iraq. But you gotta remember, and I, if I, when I did the retweet, I said, "Hint: America and Iraq copy each other." Okay, so, so, um, and so when I saw her do a prophetic word this week on a military surprise is coming, I was like, "Oh, okay." You know, because I've already, I already know that. I already, I already know that's coming, right? So, and I'm trying to give people the hint on that. And um, so let's see if this, if it happens this week or next week or January. I don't know if it's going to be soon or in January. We don't know. But some type of military act, action is going to come in to remove the corrupt. So, uh, and also to destroy the, sleep, the sleeper cells. Because there's a bunch of sleeper cells that are ready to go off um, in, in America um, and so the military knows where those people are at and they're going to sh get them before they actually do anything. Okay. And so let's see what happens. Um, and, and that as well. All right. So military surprise, a great surprise. Uh, could that be the same thing? Could the military surprise be the great surprise? I don't know. There's a betrayal coming as well. Um, and then check this out. Um, Brenda, from Arizona has here more fraud as um, basically uh, there's an abandoned school bus out here and it had thousands of of uh, machines. Uh, so this is kind of interesting. Yeah, it was loaded. Did this um, this uh, school bus was loaded with voting machines confirmed by local police, but no one is covering, not even the local news. So like I said before, everybody's been paid off. The Democrats went through the local media, the state media, national media. They covered the uh, poll watchers, uh, supervisors, uh, poll executives, mayors, governors. They paid everybody, okay? And I think, how did they get that money? Well, <laughs> who, who's been printing unlimited amount of money this whole time? And I've been telling you folks that Congress has has access to unlimited money through the Federal Reserves. So how do you think they got their money? <laughs> right? They got their money through the Federal Reserves. This is going to be, if Donald Trump and the, and the Supreme Court reveal all of this, that's how the feds are going to be taken down. The feds gave these liberals the money to pay these people off to rig the elections. That's how the giant, the, you know, so they said, how are you going to, so Kim Clement said, how are you going to kill, how is he going to kill the giant of socialism and debt, you know, and whatever else it was on there, right? And, you know, and how, the, how are they going to take the Fed down? This is exactly how you're going to take them down, <laughs> right? This is how you take them down. This is how you're going to, this is how you take down socialism. This is how you take down uh, the debt. This is how you take down the Fed. This is how you take down everything. By exposing the corruption and who were the paymasters, who were the people getting paid off, who accepted these funds, 
you know, put everything out on the table at the highest level, the federal Supreme Court. And this is how Trump can take down the giant of debt, the giant of socialism, right? The giant of communism. And he can take the feds down as well. Right? So we'll see how this plays out. We will see how this plays out, but you can see here, they, 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 the police came through the site and they, there's voting machines all in there, she's saying, uh, Brenda is saying, and uh, it's not making any news. Okay, so they, 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 uh, you know, they got all these voting machines, printing fake, millions of fake ballots, just printing up fake ballots, putting, um, putting uh, Biden's name on it. And see, this is how you know it's fraud because a lot of this, uh, the Republicans kept the Senate, right? And they did very well in the, in the House. They're, they're almost about to take back the House, right? So if the, if they, if the liberals were smart, they, you know, were smarter, wouldn't, they, they would have filled the ballots out, but they didn't. It was millions of ballots with just Biden on there, checked off for Biden. They didn't go through and, di and, and, and check off the other people. They just checked Biden and that was it. So it was millions of fake ballots that just had Biden checked off. That this is how the Republicans are, are, are killing in the House right now and winning all, and all the House seats and, and did really well in the Senate is because the fake ballots just had Biden on there. They didn't even care about the Senate and the House. <laughs> so they just wanted to remove the president. So now, if, if, if this, um, as the Supreme Court looks at this and if they can, if they can expose all of this stuff and come to uh, common sense that it was, a, it was extreme election fraud, a lot of those senators that won over the, um, that won because of fraud over the, um, you know, the liberal senators that won over fraud over the Republican senators, they're going to be ousted, right? And so the Republicans are going to, it's going to be, it, it would be, now this is, this is if they uh, come to common sense and, and look at all the evidence, uh, then we're going to see a massive uh, removal of a lot of these liberals in, in the Senate and in the House that actually did not win, uh, that won because of cheating. Okay, so, but, you, I mean, there's so much ballots that just say Biden on it <laughs> and nothing else. They, they, they don't have nothing else. The signatures are, are they, don't have, they don't have correct signatures. The watermarks are, are off. The signatures don't match. And it just say Biden on it. And these people certify these elections. They were so desperate that they certified these elections and, um, and just so they can remove Donald Trump. And so it's unbelievable. I've never seen this in my, I've never seen this ever. I've never seen this type of blatant, not caring about their own futures and their own lives. And uh, maybe they were paid well, you know, maybe some of them got $30 million. Some of them got deposited uh, $15 million in cryptocurrencies or something. I don't know, maybe they got um, Monero. Maybe a lot of them got paid in Monero so it wouldn't be traced. I don't know how they got paid. But I'm guessing, in my opinion, they got paid through the feds, uh, through the Federal Reserve, uh, because the Fed were printing unlimited amount of money. They took that unlimited amount of money they were printing every day and it's still printing now, uh, and they d dispersed it, okay? So if the feds get caught, the feds will stop printing. And so if the feds get caught, the feds will stop printing. Some of you guys already know what's going to happen, <laughs> right? If the Fed stop printing, you're going to see an economic crash, right? You're going to see another stock market economic crash when the Fed stop printing. So if the Feds did do this and were the ones that were able to give the money away and pay people off and then use it, then the Feds will stop printing. And then we will see an economic crash. And as these people, and if these people go down, because this is still an if, we can have all the evidence we want. It's up to the courts to actually make this happen, right? If these people go down, 
they will also be selling their stocks and shares and getting out and getting ready for prison and jail or whatever, you know, I mean, or whatever, or trying to escape through suicide and things like that, right? They will also be going away. So a lot of their money might be sucked out of the markets and put into Ripple or, or you know, other, other cryptocurrencies, okay? And then they'll put it into their private keys so that so their family members can have it, can have their wealth without it being stolen. So this, so we'll, we'll see, we'll see how this plays out. Um, like I said before, there's massive evidence that does not mean that the courts are going to see it our way. We're praying that they do. We're praying that they that they do, and so that this never happens again to anybody, right? And so in the future, we're trying to stop this from happening in the future. It's not about really about Trump. It's not about Biden and Trump. It's about the future of America's, uh, you know, and getting back to honesty in, in the uh, in the elections. Getting back to honesty because for years now, for centuries, the elections have been fraud. They, your votes don't count, right? And so this is one reason why I don't vote because I know my vote doesn't count. Look, I know they're gonna switch my vote. I know, you know what I mean? Like my vote doesn't count. I know that. And now you guys are seeing that for yourselves. Because a lot of you guys are like, currency, you know, why don't you vote? Why don't you vote? Now you see why I don't vote. Your vote never counted <laughs> because of the softwares and things like your vote doesn't count. Okay. Now going forward, we're gonna try to make sure we're fighting to make sure that you are that everybody's votes count for the first time in the next election. Okay. So let's see how it is. let's see how it plays out. Peace out. God bless. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Keep fighting. Keep praying. And uh, here comes the Supreme Court, as the prophetic word declared it would in Pennsylvania. And let's see if this opens up the floodgates to all 50 states. All right, peace out, God bless, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Eyes open.